Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. Today's Everything Music is going to be a primer on slash chords. Slash chords are triads over bass notes. We're going to use an E major triad and put all the notes of the chromatic scale under it and see what kind of chords they make and what scales you use over them, okay? We can immediately cross out E over E, okay? E over G sharp and E over B. These three equal E major because they just have E, G sharp, and B. And you can use the scales E Ionian and E Lydian are the scales to use over it, okay? The next chord would be the E major with an F in the bass, okay? E over F, so it's got a flat nine in the bass, okay? This is a tonic diminished chord. I'll tell you why. F, A flat, C flat, E. Well, A flat is really G sharp. C flat's really B, okay? Here's your E, G sharp, B chord, all right? Well, if you look at it that way, the A flat, this right here gives you an F diminished chord. This interval gives you a major seven. This chord is an F diminished major seven. F diminished major seven. You play the tonic diminished or the whole half. Whole half diminished scale. Remember our upper extensions when we talked about it in our diminished scale video, our upper extensions are the nine, the 11, the flat 13, and the major seven. Those are the upper extensions of a diminished seventh chord. Well, this happens to be the major seven. So, a triad with a flat nine of the bass is a tonic diminished chord or a diminished major seven chord. It sounds like this. Part of the tonic diminished scale. You might actually hear it like this also. You hear your B music like this. The next chord will be a major triad, E, with an F sharp in the bass, okay? So this is with the second in the bass, okay? That'll give you the notes, F sharp is in the bass. Then we'll go E, G sharp, B. This equals an F sharp 11 chord. This is the flat seven. This is the 9, this is the 11, okay? The scale you use on this is the Mixolydian scale. Okay, this is a typical sus chord, as some people call it, or a chord that you'll hear a lot in, the, in 70s music or in jazz, but this is a very common chord, major chord with a second in the bass. E over F sharp sounds like this. Mixolydian. It's a dominant 11 chord. Major triad with a flat third in the bass, E over G. Okay, so it's got the flat third in the bass. That will give you the notes G, E, G sharp, B. G sharp we're going to write enharmonically and call it A flat. Okay, that's your flat nine. The E is the 13, the B is the third. So this equals G 13 flat nine sound. Doesn't give you the complete sound, doesn't have an F in it, but it's really the 13 flat nine sound, which is a dominant diminished sound. Or the half whole scale, half whole. That's a half step, whole step, diminished scale would be played over that chord. E over G sounds like this. Like I said, the third one would be E over G sharp. Now, that is really only G sharp in the bass, B, E, right? It's a three note chord, so it's just simply E major. So we discount that. So the next one we go to is E over A. Okay, so if I put the notes here, A, and then we get E, G sharp, B. 
E is the fifth, G sharp is the major seventh, B is the ninth. This is an A major nine, no third. You can use an Ionian scale or a Lydian scale, depending on the function and what, what you want the sound to be. But this is a, also a common chord in jazz and in pop music. It used to be more common years ago than it is now. You don't hear it quite as much, but this is with a major triad with a fourth in the bass. So fourth in bass. E over A sounds like this. You can use major or Lydian will work over. Next we're going to do E over B flat. Major triad with a flat five in the bass. Okay. So the chord's going to be B flat and E G sharp B. We'll do some enharmonics here. This G sharp is really A flat. That's going to be the flat seven. That's how you're going to be able to recognize this flat seven. The E is the flat five or the sharp four. I'm going to call it the flat five. And the B is the flat nine. You could call it C flat. That would be more correct. C flat. That would give you the flat nine. But this is a dominant seventh, so you'd say a B flat seven, flat nine, flat five. Okay? You use the half hold diminished scale or the dominant diminished scale on this. Dom dim, as I call it, or half hold. E over B flat, be like this, which is a dominant seven, flat nine, flat five. Once again, it's a half. It's a half hold diminished sound. You'll hear it resolve to, so you can use it in two, five, one. It resolves nicely because that flat five moves up nicely to the major nine of the one chord. E major over B is just, once again, B, E, G sharp. E major chord. Don't have to worry about that one, okay? The next one, E major over C. That gives you the notes C, E, G sharp, B. Or a C major seven sharp five. C major Seven sharp five. That's a C Lydian augmented chord. The third root, third sharp five, major seven. The Lydian augmented scale is played over it. Lydian augmented, which is the third mode of the melodic minor scale. That is a scale that you play with a major triad with the flat six in the bass. E over C, leading augmented chord. You hear that in the song uh, Unity Village by Pat Metheny. That's one of the chords in there. He goes from E add nine to E major over C. That's the first time I've heard that leading augmented chord. Next is E over C sharp. This is actually pretty simple. C sharp, E, G sharp, B. One, flat three, five, flat seven. That's just a C sharp minor seven chord. Minor seven. Very simple. Could be Dorian, could be Aeolian, depending on its function. Those are your scale choices for that. That one's pretty easy. E over C sharp. C sharp minor seven, no biggie. Either way, works. Play Dorian or Aeolian over it. Next chord, E over D equals the notes D, E, G sharp, B. Okay, this would be a D Lydian sound. Okay, this is the root, this is the nine, sharp 11, and the 
B is the 13. These are the upper extensions of D leading chord. Okay? It's also an E7 over D. It's a third inversion dominant chord. You can think of it in two, two different ways. You could think you could play a D Lydian, or you could play E Mixolydian, depending on how you want to think of it, or you could play D Mixolydian sharp 11. Cool sound. Okay. E over D is a third inversion, E7 chord. It also can function as a D Lydian sound. sharp 11 and 13. Then we have E with an E flat in the bass. Well, if we look at E flat, E, G sharp, B. We're going to change this to D sharp and harmonic. We'll change this one to D sharp. Okay? Because as soon as you do that, you realize E, G sharp, B, D sharp equals E major 7. So this is really an E major 7 in third inversion. E major 7 over D sharp. I would actually treat this as a D sharp Phrygian chord. Anytime you have a triad with a major seventh in the bass, a major triad with a major seventh in the bass, it's a Phrygian sound, okay? And you'll recognize it when you hear it. Play like that, like this. I like that, like this. Sunshine, it's a D sharp Phrygian chord. Or a third inversion E major seven chord. I think it sounds way cooler like that. Way more modern. That is it. Because we come right back around to E over E again. So those are your different slash chords. Okay, let's review. A major triad with a flat nine in the bass or the flat two in the bass gives you a tonic diminished sound or tonic diminished scales played over it. It gives you a diminished major seven sound. You get the one flat three flat five major seven. A major triad with a flat third in the bass, or E over G, that gives you a dominant diminished scale, or a G13 flat 9 sound or chord. 1, 13, flat 9, and 3 are the notes in the chord, based off the root G. A major triad, E major, with a flat 5 in the bass, which would be B flat, is part of a dominant diminished scale. It's the scale you play over it. It's a half whole. Gives you B flat seven flat nine flat five or the one flat five flat seven flat nine. E major with a flat six in the bass, which is C, gives you a Lydian augmented scale or Lydian augmented sound. C major seven sharp five, one three sharp five, seven. A major triad with a second in the bass gives you a mixolydian sound or a dominant 11 sound. That would be F sharp 11, one, Flat, seven, nine, 11. Major triad with a fourth in the bass is part of the major scale or Lydian scale. That gives you an A major nine, no third. One, five, seven, nine are the parts of that chord. Your remaining three chords are the major triad with the sixth in the bass or E over C sharp, which is, you can play Dorian or Aeolian, which is just a C sharp minor seven chord. You get one flat three, five flat seven. Pretty straight ahead. This E over D, is really just an E7 chord in third inversion, but that's that's the a major triad with a flat seven in the bass. It's really a Lydian sound. You get the ninth sharp 11 and 13th with no third there. One, nine, sharp 11, 13. That really could be a D Lydian chord and is commonly used that way. Here, E or D sharp, I call it a Phrygian chord. It's a major triad with a seventh in the bass, or it could be E major seven over D sharp. Okay, third inversion, E major seven chord. But really, it's a Phrygian scale if you play it in that particular inversion. It's got the flat 9, 11, flat 6, so D, D sharp minor, flat 9, 11, flat 6. 1, flat 2, 11, flat 6. Those are all of the triads of her bass notes and their formulas. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. 
And if you're interested in the Beato book, which has tons of stuff about slash chords, you can write me at rickbeato1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.